Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna work on the air conditioning on the F-250 and primarily what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the heater core bypass or what's often called the max AC mod. So what this does is it puts a actuator or a valve in your heater core hose line that runs the hot side and when max AC is turned on, the valve is closed. So no hot coolant runs through your heater core, through your AC box, or through your fan, your blower motor box, and uh, you don't heat it up at all. So I've already done this to the Bronco a couple years ago. Um, it runs at like 40 degrees uh, AC temp or air temp all year round. When it's 105 out, it blows 40 degrees. When it's, you know, obviously when it's 80 degrees, it blows 40 degrees out. So I'll show you what we did here and then we'll look at the parts. Um, I'll have the link down in the uh, description of a full link to all your parts. And then we'll go do it to the truck. It's like maybe 10 minutes. Um, there's another little piece on the truck that I'll have to do that takes a little longer, but we'll talk all through that in a second. So first off, let's look at the Bronco. So here you'll see exactly what we're going to do. This is the valve that you put in with the um, coolant or the vacuum hose. There's a little T right here. And then that runs into your factory um, white uh, vacuum hose. And then it runs back to your blend door actuator um, or your, yeah, your little uh, from the, where it's open to closed um, to let fresh air in or out. So that's kind of all it is. You're just gonna splice it right in, splice this valve straight into your hotline. And when the, um, when max AC is on, it'll close this valve so there'll be no coolant running through it. But when max AC is off or your heat is on, it'll be wide open and circulating as normal. And uh, yeah, super easy. So let's, uh, let's check out the parts you'll need. So really all you'll need are the parts here and you may not even need all of this but here's the main star of the show here it's going to be your cylinder uh, or your actuator with the vacuum line hookup um, this opens and closes when vacuums applied to this and um, and then the coolant direction next you're going to need a couple hose clamps that are going to be clamped onto either side some um, vacuum hose, I have eighth inch here, three millimeter, a T, cool buddy, a T, and then I'll use a razor blade to cut the old hose. Um, I'm just gonna use the scissors to cut the vacuum, the new vacuum line, a nut driver for your um, hose clamps, and then I'm gonna use a couple vice grips to pinch off the coolant lines so that no coolant runs out once we cut it. So. Um, not necessarily um, required here, but something I do. Let's uh, let's get out to the truck, and we'll uh, we'll get after it. All right. So now that we're here at the F two fifty, I've got my trusty helper with me. Here's what we have going on. I have the hot side line crimped off here and back here, and then that line is the one that actually runs into the passenger side head down. At, uh, well, at the head. So you'll have that right down there as it focuses in. Um, so yeah, that's all we'll need to do there. If you can see, it's kind of hard to see here, but there's a little white nub of a vacuum hose, factory vacuum hose, that is coming out right there. We'll have to tra chase this back into this wiring harness and vacuum line harness a little bit um, in order to be able to get onto that. It broke off years ago. These break off all the time. And that is gonna need to hook up through our new vacuum hose into your blend door here, or your fresh AC to max AC door right here. So we'll get all that done, and uh, here we go. Let's, let's get after it. All right, so we got the vacuum line run on there. We'll, we'll get some new electrical tape and wrap that up to clean that up some. Um, I'm gonna cut this hot line here in a second, um, and then we'll run the vacuum line all the way back to, to there. Um, and into that, I mean, guys, really, this is like a 10 minute job. This goes super, super quick. Um, I think I'm gonna want it about right here. And I'm sure I should be using, obviously, uh, a hose cutter here, but I don't have one. So we're just gonna use, let's use a razor blade. Make it work.
and coolant flows this way. There's little arrows on there, so that's super easy. Don't forget the hose clamps like I've done before. One there, oops, as we leak a little bit, one there. Coolant flow. Right there. Got another one right here. And so again, this is open when there's no vacuum applied. And the only time vacuum will be applied is when you're on max AC. So that's all cinched down. And then we'll get this one cinched down. And we're gonna grab our scissors. And we will throw a T in it right here. And we'll go from here and run. That's actually a lot longer than I probably need, but that's okay. That doesn't hurt anything. We can always shorten it up later and then throw this back in and run this from back here. Let me sneak in here. This might be the hardest part of the whole gig. Hey bud, I need you to hop down real quick. Thank you, dude. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, you can get back up there soon, dude. All right, so we got the valve in. We've got our line right here that tees off, runs down into your factory um, uh, vacuum line, and then runs back to your actuator for your uh, fresh air or when it closes it off. And that's that's all you need to do. We'll, uh, we got all the hose clamps back on. We got our, um, we got our two vice grips off and everything's tied up nice and tight. And we're ready to go. We'll, we'll go out on a quick drive here and see what it does on max AC. Everything should function as is, as it should, and uh, report back. All right, so as you see, now that I just turned on max AC, so now that you turned on max AC, that valve closed and the door closed, I'll go turn it off. We'll turn off max AC, and it'll be standard AC now, or whatever, oat fresh air. And that valve opens up, and that door opens up. So everything's working as it should. Let's get out, get the truck warmed up, get on a drive, and see how it does. All right, so here on normal AC, it's uh, on level three for fan speed, as quick as it gets. And we're looking at about 50 degrees right now. So that is still normal coolant running through outside air. Um, just standard here. What we'll do is we'll... All right, so we are actually sitting below 40 degrees on air temp. And that's still, you know, fan speed three, on cold, max AC. I mean, you really can't get any better than that bang for your buck for like a 20 something dollar mod on these and 10 minutes of time. Um, I've had it on the Bronco for two years now and it hasn't caused me a lick of issues, so. You know, check it out. Like I said, I got it. I got the link to the Amazon. Um, you know, all the parts you need down below. Um, you know, if you drop a comment, if you have any questions, hit me up on Instagram. If if you you know if you need some help understanding how to install it, as always, I really appreciate you guys. Um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It means a lot to me. So, I'll uh, I'll see you next time. And